Hi, I'm Chelsea Lanai, and today I'm going to be talking about surrogacy. This will be the first of many videos where I will cover all things surrogacy, but today I really just wanted to focus on my most frequently asked questions about surrogacy. So what are my most frequently asked questions? The first one is how much money do you make? This is the worst question ever. I make less as a surrogate than I do at my full-time job. It does not pay my bills. It is not a replacement. If anything, I lose a little bit of money because I have to be out for doctor's appointments or for bed rest or whatever. I am not in this for the money and I have never met a surrogate who was. If you are looking to be a surrogate because you're looking to make a little extra money, just stop, walk away, don't do it. Second question, how do you become a surrogate? I will cover that in much more detail in other videos. You have to meet certain qualifications. You have to have a certain BMI, health history, age, a reliable vehicle, and you cannot be on government assistance, among other things. If you meet all of those qualifications, you can apply for an agency, and the agency will then match you with a couple. You find a couple that you want to carry for, and then there's a whole process. And I mean a whole process. I signed up with an agency in October, finished all of my paperwork for the agency and my profile in December, matched with my family in January, but didn't get pregnant until June. Sometimes it takes longer, sometimes it doesn't take quite as long, but in the end, on average, it's going to be at least six months. Did you know your intended parents? Of course I know the people that I had a baby for. I think you mean, did you know them ahead of time? And no, I didn't. I met them through an agency, but we spent a lot of time together. We talk a ton before the baby was born. Now we're family. They call me Aunt Chelsea. They call my husband Uncle Curtis. They spoil my kids like they're their niece and nephews. And we all know each other very well at this point, but no, I didn't know them prior to deciding to become a surrogate. I get this next question a lot and it's frustrating. Not because it's a bad question, but I think that people just don't understand the whole process. Was it hard to give up the baby? Now the way this question is worded makes me crazy because I never gave up a baby. I gave back a baby. As a surrogate, I knew full well going into this that it wasn't going to be my baby. I knew that I was going to go through all the stuff and then be pregnant and go through an entire pregnancy and give birth and hand a baby to her parents who waited a very long time for her. As someone who went two weeks overdue, I was more than happy to give her back to her parents. No crying baby, not up all night, no stinky diapers, no puke on my shirt. I got to sleep a ton and it was fantastic. The last question I get a lot is how does your husband and your kids feel about all this? My husband is super supportive. He was totally on board when I told him that I wanted to do this. He supports me in all of the crazy things that I want to do and all of the things that I'm passionate about. He was there to hold my hand through IVF, which is horrible. My entire pregnancy, all of the ups and downs, he was there my entire labor and he took care of me postpartum. And if anything, it made me and my husband closer and our marriage stronger. And my children, who are hilarious, um, I just explained to them on a really basic level how this worked. You know, mom part, dad part, put in me, I'm just going to grow the baby, baby's going to go home with her parents. They knew that she wasn't coming home with us, they knew that she wasn't their sibling, and they were totally okay with it. You'll get to hear what they have to say about it in a whole different video where kids explain surrogacy. The last thing I want to talk about is something I always hear at the end of this conversation. When I meet someone new or someone finds out that I was, I was a surrogate or I am a surrogate, they say, wow, I just couldn't do that. And here's what I have to say. This is not for everyone. Not everyone can handle this physically, mentally, or emotionally. That's okay. This is the most amazing thing that I've ever done in my entire life. And I knew what I was getting into when I went into it. And for anyone who thinks they may want to be a surrogate, you just, you just know if it's something that you have to do.
Okay, so that's all of my frequently asked questions. I'm going to leave you with kind of an announcement, something that I know some of my friends have been looking for and that I'm really excited to say, and that is that I talked to June Bug's mom today, and we are moving forward with a sibling. And that means I will be starting IVF probably the beginning of next month. Uh, it looks like I'll be getting pregnant mid-April. And if all goes well and according to plan and everything is sticks, then Junebug will have a little brother in January of 2018. So if you have more questions or you want to tell me about your experience, I'd love to hear about it. Or if you're a surrogate and you've had crazy questions or just questions that you hear all the time, let me know what they are. I'd love to hear from you. And I have linked my blog down below so that if you want to, you can read up on me and June's journey together and I think it's pretty awesome but I was there so thanks for watching